this airplane will do it big time. You can see the power when you when you go into the climb with it. She climbs like a rocket ship. I mean, just up she goes. In fact, I've got to come out of the power to stay with inside the field and do a Cuban 8. <laughs> Don't you know that you are a shooting star? And all the world will love you just as long, as long as you are. Alright guys, welcome back to Motion RC. We're going to do the flight review right now. We're going to start with the flight, then we'll get down and talk to her. We got Patrick Crowsdale on the sticks. He's ready to rock and roll. So Patrick, take it away. Here we go. Power's coming in. Yeah. Woo! Um, so now you were half flaps? Yep, I was uh, takeoff flap setting on it by the book. Yeah, and we got a couple flights where he just let it roll out and let the air take it up on its own. Look beautiful. We got the 5000 Admiral in there as the book calls for it. And that in runner motor, man, it sounds great with the nine blade. I'm running on low rates too for uh, all the flying here. Yeah. Yeah, you said we show, we'll show some of that in another video, but he had it on some higher rates earlier and woo! She was sensitive. She was sensitive. <laughs> a lot of wind today. But what do you think? Anybody who wants aerobatics out of a scale oh, jet, man. you'll have it for days. This airplane will do it big time. You can see the power when you, when you go into the climb with it. She climbs like a rocket ship. I mean, just up she goes. In fact, I've got to come out of the power to stay with inside the field and do a Cuban 8. <laughs> nice. Now we got a chilly day, guys. We got crosswind. We have no gyro in there. Yep, clean airplane, no gyro. So what you're seeing is we're at about 10 miles an hour wind today on a crosswind. So that's it's handling it pretty well. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Right there. <laughs> Woo! Love it. That why that wing loading, it likes the wind. <laughs> it does. It's a really easy flying airplane too, you know. Just like the Albatross before it. Smooth on the controls, easy on the power, and easy on the eyes. Yeah. Yeah, this scheme is starting to it's starting to grow on me a lot more, but I not gonna lie, that camo scheme is <laughs> I love it. It's bad. Everybody likes the camo on this thing. I like the silver on these jets. It really shows, you know, kind of the age when those old jets had that polished aluminum look great. Yeah. Let's roll right into a nice big barrel roll. On the downwind, it's gonna push us out towards the outskirts of the field. So we'll go out on the power, roll it back tight, and you can see she'll do some really slow type maneuvering. We go. Nice. Definitely want to see a touch and go on this flight. Yeah, let's do it. We'll do one more pass this way and then we'll set it up for some touch and goes. What do you think? Yeah, I, I dig it. Four point. And you can be precise with this airplane. You really can. All right, let's start to get her slow. Start to slow the flaps out. Now it does have the delay, right? Yeah. We've got the gear switch selected now. Out they come. There they go. Try not to hit the bird. <laughs> All right, touch and go right, left. Now, I had a mix in with my rudder for flying, but with my gear down, I've got the mix taken out and it's just my thumbs. So let's see if I can manage. go and the wild, wild blue yonder. yeah and she will <laughs> float she does float a lot that that is one thing i learned with this airplane is you can be out of the power pretty early and let the airplane settle in i'm trying to manage a little bit better with the wind today but also but, our uh, field those trees don't give you much you no know, you gotta much turn, room turn it in I mean, get it on trees. final and make it happen yeah now if i can go idle right here and just idle all the way out and just float her in Power back in, off we go. And up she goes. Beautiful. And these are all 50 flap with the wind today. 
But again, just a pleasure to fly. Like this is the kind of airplane that if you want to do touch and goes with a jet, man, you could just burn battery after battery doing touch and goes. This thing is fun. Again, I'm idle. Power, right? Yep, I am idle all the way out right there. And just into the flare right there. Woo! Power comes back in. And off she goes again. I mean, this airplane is just fun for this. Again, all 50 flap settings. I got 30 seconds left on the flight. So let's uh, let's do a 100 flap. Yeah, we're playing with flight times. We have about six, seven flights in there. We've mm -hmm. just been conservative mm -hmm. as, as we have to be. We'll have plenty more videos coming as we learn the aircraft. And I'm sure Patrick's got one on pre-order after oh, today man. is done. The, bu the button will be <laughs> smashed after this. There's a 100 flap. Yeah, nice and slow, powers in. You see she comes off the ground really nice with that honey. Yeah. This is the jet that I think, man, if, you, if you're if you new to RC jets and, and, and uh, you're afraid of getting into something big, this airplane really gives you the envelope to go fast, go slow. I, I like it. Yeah, I like the L39, the Avanti. This yeah. is like, you know, this is for the American scale guys that want sport performance. Yeah. But we also have that German scheme that I love. <laughs> It is. He's gonna take it. I'm gonna take that one as a full stop. Beautiful. Perfect flight, Patrick. Thank you so much. Yeah. Now I say we uh we'll do a battery check on this yeah. real quick and then we'll talk about it and then we'll put it up with a uh, six thousand I think we gotta try. Perfect. Roll it in here and we'll check it. Let's do it. You're good. Alright gents, so we're gonna pop the canopy on this thing here and we'll just give a quick check on power here. Get her plugged in nice. I don't know if you can see that, James, or not, but 22.48. It? Uh, it's 3.743. Can you see it there? Let me see. Can you see it there? Hold on. Let me zoom. Going back the other way. Yep. yep. There we go. 3.74, 3.75 across the boards. Not bad. Yeah. Nice. All right. Sweet. Hello, pilots. Welcome back to MotionRC.com. I'm James, and uh, today we finally have the flight review on the next great thing out of free wing. It's the 80 millimeter T33 shooting star with that new 1920 kV in runner motor inside of it. And we've been flying around all morning on a chilly Georgian day. Yep. And Patrick has the only one who's flown it yet. I still haven't flown it because I got to <laughs> get this footage in. Um, but uh, what do you think so far, Patrick? Oh, she's a blast to fly. She's got power. Uh, it's floaty with those long span of wings. It's, I wouldn't say glider like, but it's definitely got a lot of lift at slow speed. Right, right. I, I, I mean, when I first heard about it, I was thinking right off the bat, like, oh, this is going to be great. Another, a nice American trainer, you know, because we have the Avanti for guys who want the sport. Now we did the L39, which we pitched as a sport performing scale jet, but it's for the European market, you know, an L39 famous in Europe way more than uh, US. And now the T33 is going to mix those two worlds. Mm -hmm. And when I saw them together with the L39, you just saw a little shorter. You know, a little shorter length, a little longer wingspan. So I'm like, all right, I like the wing loading potential on that. <laughs> and then you're putting the in runner in it now. So I'm like, it's lighter. It's it can rip, you yeah. know, it can not only rip. And you've been doing some aerobatics, some knife mm -hmm. edge on it. Mm -hmm. And I think guys who just want a nice sport performing jet that you can rely on to take off from grass anywhere you want to and just has power for days and get yourself a T33. <laughs> so um, we just want to talk a little bit, guys. You've seen the uh, unboxing and build video. I pretty much went over everything um, in that video. So that link is in the description, but real quick, some of the features on it. 14 screw construction, that's it. The only glue you'll need is for two little um, scale accessories, the pitot tube and a 10 on the bottom. Um, but other than that, guys, again, 14 screws. Let's show you the robust landing gear. Ready? Close those doors. And that it's on a delay with that MC with the MFCB board, but nice clean finish doors. They're all spring loaded doors, so there's no extra weight um, in there. Servo covers on every servo on the thing, so it's a real clean body, which I love. Let's pop them open again. There you go. And again, nice and robust. Um, scale flaps, guys. Anybody seen the real T T33? It's got the split flaps, and then the foam is like molded, so it's a clean finish over the top of the wing, which I, which I dig as well. I love the livery. They're going with the black knights for the USAF version. 
um, the 57th Fighter Interceptor Squadron. They were based in Iceland. And uh, I want to give props, Tony and Evelyn, you guys remember them. Tony, big friend of Alphas, who's our product designer. Apparently they were talking about this years ago about doing it, and I believe Tony picked both liveries that you see. So we got it in the USAF, and we got it in that German 9455 scheme, which honestly I think I like better, but I don't know. <laughs> it's, I love the camo. I think that's super sweet. As far as the CG goes, guys, we're going by the book with the Admiral 5000 pack. So again, it has a molded CG mark underneath, um, and the measurements are there in the book. But also, inside, they do give you a measurement about 70 millimeters from the back of the plate to where the front of your battery resides. Uh, has been pretty good for the 5000 uh, Admiral. And then obviously a 6000, you might want to go a little farther back. 4000, you probably go a little farther forward, and uh, you're going to be good to go. So again, you just saw one flight on a 5,000. Now I think for the next flight we're gonna do here, we're probably either gonna do maybe the 6,000, I think. See how much flight time we get out of it. And uh, we'll have other videos of it on a 4,000. We'll do grass stuff. So more to come from the T-33, but guys, there she is, man. She's awesome and coming uh, to the warehouses real, real soon. So let's go fly some more, Pat. Let's do it. All right, guys, we got the Admiral 6,000 in here for the second flight of this flight review. And, uh, Patrick, whenever you're ready, sir, let's take her off. All right, let's do it. We're gonna take it off right to left, power's coming in. I got the takeoff flap setting. Nice. <laughs> All right, flap drop, gear is up. Yeah. And again, on low rates. So even on the 6,000, I'm gonna hold low rates. I like the way the airplane feels. Yeah, you did one flight with the 6000 earlier and mm -hmm. you were definitely enjoying the weight. Yeah. And look at the vertical. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Woo! Out of sight. I mean, I got a air. Let's bring it back down. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want the FAA to get on me. <laughs> yeah, right? The FAA task force on their way. That's right. You know, one of the things that we saw last time was that even with the 6000, the airplane floats really, really well. So why don't we go up and give it a little uh, a little glide test? Yeah. So we'll go up, bringing it up to altitude. I'm going to go 50% on the flaps. I'm going to go idle power, and I'm just going to let the airplane hash. I need the Jeopardy music for this. <laughs> so we're on the downwind and really not losing a ton of altitude here so let's turn it back into the upwind and let's see how long she can just kind of hang there that wing loading <laughs> she's a floater man look at it i mean seriously oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gliding. Still, I'm still going still haven't touched the power still haven't touched the power look at that <laughs> what in the world <laughs> <laughs> all right power's coming in <laughs> we could go for 25 minutes man all right i'll go up on the flaps <laughs> that was fun i like this, the way it sounds it has that venom kind of man, whoosh to it it does know? have a great whoosh i think the 80s kind of tend to have that really nice whoosh but this one does it really well even for nine it just has that nice sound Right, let's give it one more listen. What do you think? Yeah. Half throttle, just kind of cruise it past. Right, give me a speed rip. Okay. Let's do some speed. How about some up, back, back and forth across the runway? Back and forth ways. cross. Let's do it. All right. We're going to go out here. I'm going to go idle throttle to keep us inside our boundary. I'm going to punch it right here. Power's in. Roll her over. Keep that power in. All right, power's back in here with the downwind speed. <laughs> Whenever you get near the trees, I'm just waiting here. Crack, 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 crack. <laughs> I bet everybody on these videos is like, just do it, just once, <laughs> just hit the trees. <laughs> Hear the echo. That's awesome. What a smooth flyer. Just gobs of power, like up, over. I gotta go idle here. Look at that. Just a ton of fun. Yeah, I, I, I've enjoyed watching you fly today. 
This was dedicated to getting the video. Let's throw the flaps and then we'll throw the gear out. And let's see if we can't maybe do a couple touch and goes with this 6000 on there. All right, gear is out. So I'm idle power right now, way in the corner, way in the corner. Still idle. I'm going to touch it in just a hair to stop the sink. And flare. Oh, no flare. <laughs> Power's in. <laughs> well, now the wind like died down. Yeah. I was waiting for that wind to help me out there and it went away. That's okay. We'll try it again. But yeah, this airplane has, uh, even with the, the 6000, it's got so much lift on it that I can like, from the white pole out here, I can go idle power and just let the airplane settle. Look at this thing. And I'm zoomed in, so look how far out I'm it just, is. I'm just gliding it in, gliding it in, gliding it in, gliding it in, rest the sink rate, the flare. Come on. Yeah. I'm not noticing any bouncing the way sometimes the Avanti might, Man. depending on, you know, how you come in. It settles nice. It's got great gear. You know, that trailing link has always been really good on these airplanes. Yeah. Let's do a hundred flap here. Same kind of thing. I'm going to go to the white pole. I got a hundred flap, idle power. You just Let's let the airplane settle in. I'll zoom out again. Let's let the airplane settle in, settle in, settle in, settle in, break that down. Flare. Ah, a little flap. Let's take it. But again, just easy. A rudder in the turn. Looks good. I like this airplane. Now I've got the 30 seconds that's called out there was for the 5,000. So we can yeah. actually go probably another minute past this on useful throttle. And let's just see what the airplane can do as far as time, I think. Yeah, I love it. One more touch and go maybe. Oh, a little touch of power. Pilot. Oh, it's still floating. <laughs> I thought it was about to just drop. That's the beauty of this airplane is it really can allow you to learn how and when an airplane or a jet for that matter needs to flare and where your round out should be, all that kind of stuff. This airplane just does it really well. So you're saying it's a good trainer? Like him. <laughs> I, you know, honestly. Like, a, like a, the original might have been? Oh, yes. <laughs> absolutely. I would actually, I might put it as a better trainer than the Albatross and the L39. Just because it's got, I think, a slightly bigger envelope when it comes to overall slow speed. And I think its top speed is pretty close, if not more. That's what I love about like the Avanti, the L39, and now this. No matter how good a pilot you are, you're going to be able to enjoy it. Yeah. Because a, a great pilot's going to be able to do so much with it, you know? I mean, this for me, this will be one of those birds that I just come out here on a nice day and just touch and go all day long. Maybe then roll into some aerobatics and right back into the touch and goes. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, board of touch and goes, lead, nice bag. Back into the play. <laughs> yeah, let's see how it does with um, 6,000. And we haven't done that yet. What's coming, night? Yeah, let's, let's give it right. a go here. Into the bowl, roll it up. Yeah. Nice. Not too bad with the 6,000. Nice. I think that weight is helping this bird a little bit because it is lighter than the Albatross and I think even the Avanti. So, yeah. you know, we noticed on the crosswind that the wind, wind got on and likes to <laughs> it you know, knock it around. <laughs> but... Back where am I at around at 52? Yeah, we're counting up here. Let's go ahead and land right to left just to make sure. Yep, that was a minute over what the timer was, so let's just go ahead and put it in. Land it right to left. I'm idle power, letting the airplane sink. No, I'm not sink. put it in. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> oh Come, on <laughs> Come on now. Come on. T33 for the win. For the win. All right, rolling out at the end, taxiing back. Man. Good looking airplane. Yeah, good looking airplane. I'm gonna walk a little bit okay. because I'm gonna turn back to Patrick, but I have this long lens on, so I'm gonna right stare that face. way while the camera's yeah. looking at me and watch the airplane taxi back. But I, I really like it. In but fact, I, wanna... I think my pre-order button is gonna be smashed right now. Yeah, <laughs> you get you get the luck of trying it before. <laughs> you are awesome. Thank you. <laughs> he gets to try it before it happens, and I, but I think I'm gonna push for myself on the German one. I seeing the way this flies right now and I'm about to fly it afterwards it's fantastic I have the uh, I have the cell checker right here for you Patrick let's jump in it. right before we uh, end it yep let's take a look and see what yep. that got us down to on time I'm gonna back up just a tad okay. and I get in there 
So guys, that's where the 6,000 is, if you can see. I put it right at the back of the wood. So where the tray stops is where I've got the 6,000 emerald sitting. Yeah. So you have to definitely go back here. for the 6,000 versus where the book showed for the, uh, for the five. Okay, let's see. 22.4. Yeah, 3.73, 3. 2.36. Hold on, let me get in on that. 3.4 for, uh, for sale. I'm, I'm totally happy oh, with flying is. a battery down to that. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, 15%, 3.7. Cool. Yeah, there she that is. That was nice. I'm totally happy with that. Cool. Fantastic. Well, Patrick, since I'm behind the camera for <laughs> yeah. today, can you close us out? I'm going to um, back up. Yeah, go check it out. Motion RC. This jet is the best there is in trainers. And you're not doing this normally. Just give us a like, share, subscribe. That's and, right. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you next time, guys, at Motion RC.